Hi, I'm Donna Balzer, and I'm just going to tell you some of my results from my root pouch harvest this year. And it's just me and my dog in the backyard today, so anything could happen. Join me for the root pouch. Let's have a look. So here's the rundown on the 2017 crop. First is the Russian blue potato. That is an actual lovely potato with a very blue interior, but my part Irish husband thinks it's sacrilege, so I gave most of them away. Second is the Ziegeland. Ziegeland is a beautiful uh, fingerling potato, and they're usually very smooth and very perfect, especially when they're grown in the root pouches. But these ones, because we ate all the ones in the root poaches, I had to cheat and I got these out of the garden and they actually have a lot of potato scab on them. So it just goes to show the root poaches generally are perfect, but here, these ones grown in the garden, the ziglins are very sensitive. Next is the German butterball. Look at that lovely little potato. It's yellow on the inside, a little bit russeted on the outside, very creamy. You hardly have to use any butter, although as you know, butter makes everything better. Then I've got the Russian banana. Look at these cute potatoes. They're absolutely delightful, but they're very tiny. This is my entire harvest this year. Of course, I only started with three potatoes, but they are a very light producer. Now remember in the in the uh, root poaches, I actually don't water them very much. I'm kind of lazy and I'm kind of busy in the summer, so they haven't been watered a lot and they come out almost looking clean like this, but they didn't produce very many. Here's my favorite, the French fingerling. When we did the taste test, they were amazing. Now I thought I had eaten them all, and then I found one left at late July. I just had left one unplanted, and so I had an empty bag. I put this in, and this whole clump came from one root pouch, so I'm really excited about that. The Linzer delicata sounds like a very delicious, delicious potato and I haven't tried it yet but I was really disappointed that it had all of this, uh, I think it's wireworm damage. If you get holes like that in your potatoes, it's usually wireworms. And in the case of root poaches, as I said, we usually don't get disease, but I think in this case I must have used some compost that had some wireworms. Now look at this crazy cute potato. This one's called pink fur. And I think it's because it's shaped like a little fir tree. Well, you could use your imagination. It could just be Mr. Potato Head, but they're all lumpy and bumpy like that. A few of them are smooth. And out of the root pouches, they come super clean and they look super cute. They do lose some of their pinkness when they're baked, but they have a nice yellow center. The last one's the warba potato. Warbas are generally very, very early in the ground. Let me dig down here. And because they're so early, you usually don't get very many. But this warba was planted later in a root pouch so that I could compare it to the other root pouch potatoes. You'll see even in the root pouch, it's pretty sensitive to um, potato um, scab. And that's this bumpiness on the top. When you plant these in the ground, virtually the whole potato is covered with scab. So the good thing about the root pouch is I've got quite a few potatoes here that are not scabby and they're very lovely boiled as new potatoes because these ones are usually ready in early July. So that's my potato harvest for 2017, at least the potatoes that I grew in my root pouch. Of course I grow them in many ways. I just want to remind you to not fill your root pouch full of soil because the potatoes themselves will not produce deep in the pot. They'll only produce as you're filling it up with straw, compost and other materials as the potato grows. So if you plant them here, they'll produce potatoes here. If you plant them here, well, they only have a small area to produce potatoes. So that's 2017. That's my potato crop and root pouches. If you like this YouTube channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. And if you'd like my blog, have a deeper look at some of the older items. I also have a way to grow potatoes in wire fencing, which is quite interesting. I won't be harvesting those potatoes for another month or so. I may as well just leave them into October. But this is it for September. This is it for eating potatoes in 2017. Now, Where's that dog? Poorly.
Harry Door.